That's a mighty nice horse you got there, mister. Would you sell him? Hello, everyone. So, I, this is really quick, but it's nice and it could be something that um, you guys can comment on if you know the books or you know the authors or you're involved in the event for the first bit of it. Basically, I had a bit of a funny day today, not a particularly positive day. And in the afternoon, I had some free time and I thought, actually, sorry, I'm going to go to a second-hand bookshop I haven't been to for ages. And I know that it's in the same road as about four different charity shops. So sometimes you can find things in there as well. And actually, I found some interesting things. I found four books in the second-hand bookshop for 50p each for June on the Range. June on the Range, cowboy books, um, the Wild West and I have actually now got in my possession a book by Zane Grey because of it. So Boulder Dam by Zane Grey. Zane Grey. It's got, it's got, you all right, Ralph? It's got uh, nothing on the back about the plot, but there's a little bit here about it. Um, to the Black Canyon of Colorado came all the gunslingers and freeloaders of the West, the men for whom there was no law, the men whose greeds and real rivalries set the walls of the Great Canyon ringing with violence. <laughs> that's, that's the plot? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'll tell you what. Uh, um, well, I'll show you about these other three first before I make this point that I think is an interesting point. Um, <laughs> I found a J.T. Edson. There's tons of J.T. Edson books in different bookshops over the years, I've noticed, but I didn't really pay much attention because I wasn't involved in anything like June on the Range. And I didn't used to read Western stuff. So J.T. Edson, it's just it's full of... Um, you can find them in a lot of different shops around here. Uh, but Troubled Range by J... With a classic kind of Western cover there. Um, this is... He was big, blonde and dangerous. From the top of his low brim Stetson to the soles of his cowhide boots. He was 100% fighting man. A member of the legendary floating outfit and right-hand man to the Rio Hondo gun wizard, Dusty Fogg. <laughs> Mark Counter was a man to be reckoned with. A man whose second name was Trouble. <laughs> hey? A man whose second name was Trouble. Are we looking for Trouble? Mm-hmm. Come right, please. And then, uh, Barry Cord, Last Stage to Gomorrah. <laughs> I like the cover. But yeah, this is very, very small. Um, but uh, this looks really good as well. Um, it's about a gambler. Um, trying to um, get away with uh, being a naughty gambler in the, in these card games. So, uh, he gambled his life for a fortune in stolen gold. That's the plot of that one. And then this one, <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, what? A town called Bastard. My, my that, that timing was gone because I said it wrong. My throat went funny. A town called Bastard. Uh, so, this is now a film. And it's a film. Um, this is book made from the film. So this is good for Garb August as well. But this is not a book that was turned into a film. This is a film that's been novelised into an, a novelisation. So A Town Called Bastard. When I saw that, I thought, I have to read this. Uh, it's, a, it's a violent story of betrayal and sudden death. A betrayal, a story of betrayal and sudden death. So there we are. Another short one. I'll probably get to that as well. A Town Called Bastard. Bastard. Um, but what I was going to say was, um, I'm not really expecting much from these. But I'll tell you what, I read a bit of Zane Grey. Um, I can't remember why. I think I was just looking to see how big it was. and the font. I just had a quick look inside. I thought, oh, I'll read um, a little passage. And it looks like um, he might actually write really well. I mean, Michael K. Warren could tell me this because he, he's an expert on these things. But it was quite a philosophical last paragraph. I thought I'm not. I didn't think I'd get many spoilers if I read the last bit. And um, I mean, the last sentence is the spirit moved over. Sorry, I haven't got my glass on. I'll say it again. The last sentence said the spirit moved ever towards perfection and immortality. Life had failed on the earth. In, in, inscrutable nature had gone on with his work. Patient, terrible, and endless. A mournful wind swept across the giant desert, down the naked halls and shingles across the barren flats. I mean, this is somebody who's taking his time. I've just read um, a different kind of book for Book Trek, 
Um, that person would not have taken the time to write those kind of sentences. So Zane Gray might be a good writer. Uh, this is all new to me. So anyway, yeah, four June and Range books I found for 50p each in a second-hand bookshop. 50p, not even a quid. So that was quite nice. And then, um, I didn't want to spend too long on this video, but this is really cool. Uh, when I went into a charity shop, I found two, two books by John Wyndham that were part of this series. That I've already got a lot of books in this series. So I've got about five others. And um, I said on the video before that I'm not massively in love with the cover style, but now that I've got a collection of them, I, re I really quite like the fact that they're, they're all this consistent edition of these John Wyndham books. And I really like John Wyndham. I really like John Wyndham. I did a video on John Wyndham a couple of years ago, um, 18 months ago or something. But these were two books I didn't even know about. So Plan for Chaos by John Wyndham and The Secret People by John Wyndham. Um, I did. I have seen that one before, to be fair. But I hadn't seen Plan for Chaos before. And I haven't owned them before. And they were both 75 pence each. 75 pence each. That is nothing. So, I mean, 75 pence. I'll try and describe what 75 pence would be to uh, for an American. That's less than a Mars bar. That's less than a bar of chocolate. A small bar of chocolate. That's less than a Snickers. Less than a Twix. <laughs> 75 pence. They're usually 80 pence. So, yeah. Two John Millen books. Part of that series. Very cool. Um, I'm really pleased about that. So there we are. Do you read John Wyndham? Are you intrigued by the fact that Zane Gray sounds like a very intelligent and philosophical writer? Do you want to visit a town called Bastard? Let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye.